Now, we have been doing yoga. We have been adding material knowledge in our life, right? Now, let us do yoga with spiritual knowledge. Yoga is not only physical exercises, please, for God's sake. That is also bodily identification, right? When you do these asanas, why are you doing these asanas? To keep your body fit, right? Again, not to understand life. Whereas the asanas are a part of the Patanjali yoga system in which it starts from yam niyam. It starts with specially do's and do nots. We have actually made everything into bodily consciousness. No life consciousness is there. So now to understand yoga, first thing. It goes up to Samadhi. There are eight levels of Ashtang Yoga of Patanjali. Because I am not, I'm not dealing with Patanjali Yoga at this moment. But Patanjali, Rishi Patanjali said that yoga should be done to go to the stage of Samadhi. Samadhi means to understand, to be in that state of level where you are every time in spiritual consciousness. You are living in matter like you are in, in the ocean, but in a ship. Any problems? <coughs> if I take you, I'll tell you. I take you into the ocean. And I tell you, I'll take you in a big, huge ship. It's okay, no problems then. Right? Patanjali very clearly says this. The yoga system says this. But now how to understand yoga? Now please try to understand. Yoga means to unite. Now, we, uh, I'll not repeat it again. But it will come up again in the later days. First thing, you have to link. Link means there are two things. First thing, remember this. First, who has to connect with whom? Right? So first comes not the whom. First comes the I. What has to connect? I have to connect. So yoga, first question you should ask is, who am I? Just a trailer I'll give you. You say every day, this is my body. When you say this is my house, are you the house or you are the owner of the house? You say my car, are, the, are you the car or you're different than the car? You're different than the car and you say my body. That means you are the body or you're different than the body. Come on, you never think about that also. So yoga says starts with what? Who am I? Because first I should know who am I? I want to connect. For example, I want my, uh, my car is out of gas. So first I have to understand if my car is not moving and I see the gas meter, no problem with me. The problem is with the car because if you become unconscious also, then also the car will not move. So you understand that the car, in the same way, first understand who am I. Next, with whom have I to connect? Because I want to connect for getting happiness which should be eternal. It should be permanent. I don't want a temporary happiness. I want something permanent. Do you want a permanent job? A permanent business? You want permanent. You want a permanent customer who should come, keep come, coming again and again and then keep adding more permanent customers. Or you want temporary customers. You want permanent customers. You want a permanent job. It's good so that you can, and in that permanent job, you want raises every time. And spirituality means permanent and rising. I told you. Permanent and increasing. That is what spirituality means. Brahm. Another word for Brahm is, spirituality is Brahm. And what is the quality of Brahm? It stays, it's eternal, and it increases. So you are understanding with this example? If you are working as a service also, you want to have the same service and keep on. That's the best. Because if you change environments, again you have to reset yourself with that environment. Because if you are working 7-8 years somewhere, 
it becomes easier to you know yeah, you know how to work around go around the place and know how to move around with the people who are there how they are working what their mental setup is and so and you get raises there only that will be great will, will that not be great that will be great so now to connect with whom so that i can get this permanent eternal happiness number two question number third question now which are the conditions which are conducive or detrimental for the linking process yoga hai na when you want to connect would you like to look out for the uh, uh, circumstances which are conducive right you want to dry your clothes and in the dryer you put water what's going to happen you are not going to dry you not created the right conditions you not condition right conditions for the clothes to dry in the same way what conditions should you create now next there are conditions now which type of acts should i do so that connection becomes good with that whom who should i connect with what acts should i do fifth when should i connect and how long should this connection be how long this connection should remain you understood five things first who am i number 2 now i'll i'll give you the technical names for these five things first thing all knowledge in this world is only constituting of these five things there is nothing out of this which is out of these five the vedas talk only of these five things and ved means knowledge and it means knowledge which is both material and spiritual please understand one thing knowledge veda does not mean only spiritual knowledge please ved includes material knowledge also it includes all knowledge on earth all the universe which you can think and which you cannot think about it includes everything and for your knowledge 94% of the vedas are lost how many 94 only 6% of the vedas are available today your main upanishads <laughs> more than 65 70% are lost they're not there and the puranas also which are there i'm sorry they are not complete they are also not complete so the vedic knowledge 94% is lost only 6% is available so first thing who am i that is soul number 2 with whom to connect god number 3 circumstances which are conducive nature two type of natures spiritual and material third which acts to do karma action fourth fifth when and for how long time so these five things are known as atma karma third time fourth nature fifth the controller of all this whom we call as god so these five things we have to know when we want to connect in anything in your life also these five things are important when you want to connect when you go to talk to a person when you go for an interview or you go to a customer what do you explain about yourself first you explain about yourself right why are you fit for the job or why should you be given the business right or wrong first you should know about yourself na then with whom you are connecting third like you joke in india selling a comb to a bald headed person oh, no not good business you want to send sell an an air conditioner which only cools in the alps not a right place sorry fourth 
you want to go and meet that person, what acts would you do to go and meet him? You barge into his office, he gets an idea, throws you out. Or you take an appointment first. And how do you go to go about it? That is karma. Fifth, what time? You call him over in the night at 12.30. Hello? Or you knock on his door in his residence. Is it the right time? No. All these five things. Very important. And these five things are stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Now, as we came down to this, now what I'm going to do is this, that you have been you know, spiritual knowledge. Now I'm coming down to spiritual knowledge. And this spiritual knowledge which I'm going to give you in the next seven days are going to be based on the, like education. You have been taking knowledge, spiritual knowledge. Most of us, which have, what we have been doing is hearing something here, something there, something there. Sorry, such knowledge you can never apply in life. If I study, for example, medical books, would I become a doctor? Or I go to one university, sit there for 10 days and then go to another university, sit there for 10 days. And like this, I go to 100 universities sitting for 10, 10 days. And I do, I complete my tenure. Will I become a doctor? No. By magazines, studying magazines, I don't become a doctor. In the same way, and when you don't get that knowledge as an education, for example, for exa I take the example of my wife. She is from South India, but she has been born and brought up in Bomb Mumbai, Bombay. <clears throat> now, she knows Malayalam, but she can't read and write. Because she never studied it as education. She did not learn the alphabets. First, you have to learn the alphabets, then the words, then sentences, then paragraph, then essay. In the same way for spiritual life, for spiritual knowledge, you should learn from A, B, C, D. Now, first thing I explained to you why you should know about spiritual knowledge. Because this knowledge which you are taking is actually big zeros till it is not connected to the number which is not a zero. Yes, there are different yogas also. They are on levels of 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this, they are levels. Please understand one thing. Vedas, as I told you, talk of material education, material knowledge also. So don't think if you get material knowledge, no, I've got spiritual knowledge because it's coming from the Vedas. No, sorry, Vedas mean knowledge and knowledge can be on lower level and higher level. There are different levels. So the same thing as Vedas. So first thing I've tried to put across to you is why take spiritual knowledge? That by adding this knowledge, all your activities will get purpose behind it. It will give you eternal happiness. It will give you peace. It will remove tension from your life. Today we are so tensed that our productivity is high or low? Low. This we have seen in students also. Because I give a lot of, lot of lectures in within student community also. So much of tension. Productivity comes down. And that's what is happening everywhere. That means if the tension is reduced, our productivity would improve. And we have seen it. We have seen it. So spiritual knowledge tells you how to do it. Material knowledge can never tell you. One statement which I actually, I am very against is the win-win situation. You, two people can be successful, but they can never, two people cannot win. When they run in a race, actually if you want to win, what he picked up was, if you want to win in life, actually you want some others to lose. That's a very bad mentality. That is the first thing which you start with spoiling your own life. Try to be successful in life. When you try to be a winner in life, that means you want others to lose. Right or wrong? In a race, Pray that everyone is successful. That means everyone completes the race. That means all of them are successful. Maybe you are running very, you are running well, so you come first. But you don't want to, others to lose. You want to run the best way you can. The person who's also come last has also run his best race of his life. Eh? So today, everywhere, all motivational gurus and all, win! 
<laughs> that means you want others to lose. Sorry, I don't want others to lose. And spirituality teaches you that. That how you can be successful without trying to make others lose. No, that's not a good mentality. That's a negative mentality which bounces back upon you. That winning is like a mathematics plus, I call it. Material knowledge, try to understand. Material knowledge, that plus you know, is made of how many? Two minus. Is it right or wrong? The plus is made of, the plus add, add sign is made of two minus. And it has to break. And when it breaks, it becomes two minuses. You started with one minus, then you had two minuses because that you think is plus, but actually material, all material knowledge is like this. So we are not, we are out of the, Bhagavad Gita teaches us how to be away from minus and plus. I don't want two minuses in my life. You rise above, then you think that, oh my God, the next man is coming up, he may take away my business, he may be taking away my position. All these thoughts start coming up or not? That plus is actually, that minuses are working inside. So how, how that is done? That is a part of karma, that will be part of this course, which we are doing this eight days. So I am also, I will be checking up my notes, so, I don't, so that I don't miss anything. I am using a laptop in India, they say, oh you are using a laptop being a sadhu. I say, what's wrong, I am saving paper. Because every time, otherwise I have to prepare notes. And I waste paper, trees going down. So I use a laptop, so I can prepare my notes. <laughs>